Welcome all you Hydromaniacs, it's Hydra Dave. And I got my unseen partner, not here. He doesn't like cameras, and you are going to get to see his excellence in the ring. And my unseen partner's name is Hydra J Dog. Okay? He's got a mystery match here at the Grandmasters UCWF show for this week. And uh, our feed will be coming in shortly. And uh, we got a great match card so far as we know. We got a mystery match for Hydra J Dog. We've got the Grand Prix final that's going to determine who is going to challenge Hyperion at the Grandmasters annual Grand Prix show for the Grand Prix championship belt. And that match is going to be between my boy, Taskmaster, and Juggy. I got all my money on Taskmaster. He's going to come up with a sneaky trick to get that big dude out of there. Juggy, Juggy's no joke, but I got my money on the craftiness and the skills of my boy Taskmaster. Then, there's going to be another match. Check this out. So you know at the Grandmasters Grand Prix show next Sunday, April 26th, that the tag team champions, uh, Alpha Flight, are going to have to defend their belt against the former tag team champions, Fisk Incorporated, AKA Kingpin and Craven, right? And you remember, I told you that something wasn't quite right, right? And that there seemed to be some little rift going on Okay, well, apparently they have to blow some steam because I think Craven is a little tired of taking all the beatings and putting down all the opponents, okay, to make Kingpin look good and get all the credit. So Grandmaster, in his infinite wisdom, has put these two together in an insubordination match. Kingpin versus Craven. These guys just might beat the crap out of each other so bad that they don't, don't, they don't even make it to challenge for the UCWF Tag Team Championship on uh, next Sunday, April 26th. So we'll see what happens with that, okay? And guess what? There's going to be another, I wouldn't call this an insubordination match, but I would call this definitely the beginning of a split of the invaders, which is good news to old Hydra Dave, my boss, uh, Strucker, and Zemo, and Skull, because apparently Union Jack is deciding he doesn't really want to be a team player anymore, okay? Or maybe Cap, I don't know, I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't stand Captain America, but I gotta believe that he always wants to be a team player. Okay? As long as it, you know, on the side of good and for the United States and all this stuff, right? Mr. Patriot. So guess what? He's in a match with Union Jack. We'll see what that's about. That would be a great break for Hydra if those two broke up and they went their separate ways. We'll see if this starts that, okay? Then in our main event, Juggy's coming back for his second fight of the night. He's going to fight against Sasquatch to determine who's going to fight Trico Slatteris, Trico One Belt Slatteris, the elder of the universe, the champion of the universe, this coming Sunday at the Grandmasters Grand Prix show, the annual show. That's going to be determined tonight. Who's going to contend for that title between Sasquatch and Juggernaut? And that's our main event. I see we've heard about some other stuff going on. Uh, there might be a... Uh, let's see. Oh, let me look at my... Oh, yeah. They just added this to the card. Olympian meets Asgardian. And it's Thor, the God of Thunder 
versus Hercules, and I guarantee you, even before I was born, way back, millennia, 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 whenever these gods were created, they the Olympians can't stand as guardians, okay? Both think one is better than the other. Well, guess what? They're gonna get a chance to prove it today, tonight, in this one-on-one uh, -on -one match at the UCF show uh, right coming down the pike here any second. So hey, I'm excited about this, all you Hydromaniacs. I can't wait to see Hydra J Dog's mystery match. And uh, I'll be there. Uh, I actually know he's gonna fight, but I don't wanna tell him because he'll probably pee his pants. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm excited. We're gonna start this show here real quick. Uh, the feed's starting to come in. So on the back side, we'll wrap it up and talk about it. And until then, Hail Hydra. This is it guys, we're ready to get this match going. 
And man, I looking good here, or bad, depending on who you're rooting for. And the headbutt connects. He's not looking like himself here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. And he hits his splash. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I saw a boy. He thinks he has it.
He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Engineering! That creates a big open and early pin attempt. So now he kicks out at two and a half. Try for it early. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now.
superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? He's making a statement here with this attack.
We haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one of the best here tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a one on one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. This is the match Milwaukee's been waiting for, and I'm sure it won't disappoint.
start the night off than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, but I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Corey, what should we expect from him here tonight? I expect him to come out of the gate hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really concentrating on getting the advantage early. But of course, that's easier said than done. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. This is the match Milwaukee's been waiting for, and I'm sure it won't disappoint. He's sending a message. 
message to the entire WWE locker room here. This could be it. This rivalry has just been taken to the next level. Superstar can just land the finisher here. This match is all but over. <laughs> Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, you get to a point where you can see the finisher coming before it actually comes. And let me tip you off to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. Oh no. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Ain't gonna stop him now. Here he goes. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Don't be surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. He can do it here. Here we go, second time. It's got to be over now. Here's his moment, Michael. There's the man. Get his opponent to that. Oh, I think this man means business. 
Uh, going to the top, high risk. Showing off his amazing vertical leap there. Hoping to end it early. And he gets the shoulder up. And the match continues. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. That's not going to do it. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing.
stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. Good 
more to take. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after the beating he's taken.
where I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Big 
splash. You can 
see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Guys, it's imperative. seen this finisher here tonight is obscene, but I'm guessing we've seen it for the last time. He just doesn't appear to have enough energy to attempt it again. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, his opponent isn't necessarily whistling Dixie either. He's making a statement here with this attack. are set. So let's just talk about those right now. Juggernaut, Juggernaut. He's going to have two title fights. He's going to be challenging Hyperion for the Grandmasters UCWF Grand Prix Championship belt and at the same annual Grandmaster Grand Prix show this Sunday, April 26th, he's going to have another title match against Trico, one belt slatterist, the elder of the universe, the champion of the universe for an opportunity to win that title. Excuse me. 
How did he get there? He smashed my boy Taskmaster, number one. He made quick work of my boy Taskmaster. I've never seen anybody whoop Taskmaster like that before in my life. I've seen Taskmaster back out of a fight, you know, uh, back out and, you know, maybe win another day or whatever they say. But hey, maybe you didn't watch tape or maybe you just don't watch tape and make up for that kind of strength and power that Juggernaut brings. But whatever it was, Juggernaut whoop my boy Taskmaster. Sorry to say it, buddy. That's what happened to you, okay? No harm, no foul. Peace. Then, in the main event, it was kind of a knockdown drag out fight between Sasquatch and Juggy, but really, on the whole, it was just juggernaut domination. He was smart to wear that cage on his face because Sasquatch definitely went for the claw into his mouth. Couldn't get it. Went for that submission. Juggernaut just splash after splash after splash. Stalling superplex. Stalling superplex. One, two, three. Boom. On to the title, title shot. Juggernaut, Juggernaut. Let's see what he can do this coming Sunday. There's also going to be the UCWF Tag Team Championship between Fisk Incorporated, the contenders, number one contenders, trying to regain that belt against Alpha Flight, that run puck, and guess who? Sasquatch. So check this out. You see what happened there? Kingpin, now there, Kingpin did a workaround on Craven. Woo, oh, oh man. First off, I'm watching that, I'm thinking, okay, uh, I know Craven's mad at Kingpin. He's kind of carrying Kingpin's water, right? In all these matches. Not getting the glory. Maybe Kingpin's not paying him with what they agreed. Oh, who knows? They're mad at each other. So, so Craven somehow talks the Hulk, who Hulk doesn't like Craven, but somehow Craven got Hulk to comply to go beat up Kingpin in that match, the insubordination match. And what happened? The Hulk laid down. The Hulk threw the fight. Kingpin had him paid before Craven even recruited Hulk to come in to kick Kingpin's ass. I don't know what that's gonna do. I hope that relationship makes it to the Grandmaster's Grand Prix show next, this coming Sunday, but that was a trip, man. Kingpin, he's not the Kingpin for no reason, man. He's up here, man, he's smart, okay? Because there's no way ever in a million years that Kingpin could whoop the Hulk's butt like that, okay? Ever, never, ever. Hulk laid down, got paid, smart on Hulk, okay? He doesn't always have to Hulk smash to win, right? So who knows what's gonna happen there, right? So then, what do we have? God versus God, Thor versus Hercules. Good back and forth fight. Hercules came up with the win this time. They shook it out. Looks like they might be buddies, okay? We know there's that good-natured rivalry 
between the Olympians and the Asgardians, between Goldilocks and old Hercules. But it looks like they uh, kind of shook it out and uh, they're going to be good. But that doesn't mean they're not going to fight each other in the future because those guys like to roll, okay? Just for the hell of it, they like to roll. And then we had another crazy fight. We saw Union Jack go against his, his teammate on the Invaders, Captain America. Captain America makes quick work of Union Jack, straightens him out, gets him in line. Now it's up to Union Jack to either fall in line with the Invaders and, and continue to fight that fight against us, Hydra, right? But what happened? Our boss, our boss's boss's boss, Red Skull, came out and whooped them both. Put a beat down on both Captain America and Union Jack after the fight. It was a short-lived victory for Captain America because old Red Skull started pounding on him and pounding on Union Jack, pounding on Captain America, pounding on Union Jack, and oh my God disrespected both of them right there in the middle of the ring. That win meant nothing. Red Skull came out of that whole thing with the victory, even though he wasn't really in the match, right? He made himself part of that match at the end. He won that match. Good on Skull. Way to go, boss. And last but not least, my boy, my partner, Hydra J Dog, he had a mystery match. I knew he was who he was rolling with. And I was quite, I was a little scared for him, okay? You know, he doesn't like cameras. You only get to see his excellence in the ring. I say that, I tell you that every time. He hasn't had a singles match since he lost to Sabretooth almost two months ago. Well, he came out fighting. He came with a comeback match and he Beat that demon, Ghost Rider, right, left, front, and center, and hopefully he sends him back to the pits of hell. Because I don't want to mess with Ghost Rider. I don't think Strucker wants to meet, mess with Ghost Rider, but somehow my boy, Hydra J Dog, found a way to beat that flaming skull faced weirdo Ghost Rider. One, two, three, super kick. I don't know what that means for my boy. I don't know if Coast Rider's gonna be coming back with the spirit of vengeance, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up this week's uh, UCWF show. Remember, this Sunday, April 26th, at high noon, we're gonna get the feed for the annual Grandmasters UCWF Grand Prix show. Three title belts are gonna be on the line, plus four more matches at least, okay? We've got the UCWF tag team match. Fisk Incorporated gonna try and win that belt back against Alpha Flight, Puck, and Sasquatch. We're gonna see Hyperion try to defend his Grand Prix championship belt against Juggernaut. And then we're gonna see the Juggernaut again, challenge Trico, one belt, Slatterus, the elder of the universe, the champion of the universe for the UCWF Universal Belt. We hope to see you there. I'm Hydra Dave, my unseen partner who just got the victory, Hydra J Dog. We're gonna be checking out, okay? We'll see you Sunday. Until then, Hydromaniacs, hail Hydra.